Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a brief one today, just wanted to update you on the rust prevention sprays and how they're getting on. It's only a week in, but we are starting to see some that are failing and some rust appearing. So let's go and have a look and see how they're all getting on. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been a week of uh, bad weather here. It's lovely today. Hope it's nice where you are, but it's uh, been a pretty grim uh, few days, which is good as far as the test goes, because we've had lots of salty spray all over um, these steel um, pieces. And the uh, various rust treatments have been working. Some have been fine and some have started to fail, even though it's only seven days in. So uh, I'll spin you around and we can start to have a look at what's gone well and what's not faring quite so well even this early on let's spin around and have a look okay if we work from right to left then the first sample is the acf 50 that's fine no signs of rust on that and then we have the xcp professional the clear coat is the next one long and that is fine and also the next one along is the other xcp rust blocker product and that is also fine you can see quite a heavy laying up of the product on there and that's protecting well so far the next one the one uh, sort of second from left on the picture is the techco acs the tc200 and although it does look like it's rusting that's actually just bugs and muck that's collected on that one so i'd assume that one's a little bit more sticky and prone to picking up stuff than the others but there's no signs of rust on it so far so if we zoom around to the left a little bit more to look at the left hand four and again we'll look at the uh, the right hand one first so we're working from right to left so the first one is the hcb1 this is the muck off product and there is starting to see signs i believe on that no no actually probably not that's actually looking okay at the moment thinking again However, when we get onto these top three, or the last three, so the third one across from the left in your picture is the uh, GT85, and that is certainly showing rusting on the edge and also rusting on the, on the face of the bits of steel. That is starting to go, as is the FS365 from Scott Euler. That is starting to break down on the edge, and around here you can probably see it. Hopefully it's zoomed in enough for you to actually pick up on that and then also the wd-40 you can see on the edge there it's starting to um, show signs of rusting as well not very not very um, marked just yet but certainly on the edge where the product these thin products have um, broken down and rust is starting to take hold probably the most uh, disappointing so far is the gt85 this is only seven days since application and that is clearly starting to uh, basically allow rust to take take place well that's, that's a very brief look and hopefully you could make it out in the video um, that's pretty much as close as i could get with the old iphone but i think what's clear to see so far when you think this is as i say again it's only seven days in that certainly the thinner products the products that are perhaps more usually thought of as like the water displacement rather than the coatings so the WD-40, the FS-365 and the GT-85 particularly um, are all starting to uh, allow the steel to rust. So it's only seven days in on a bit of uncoated steel. So most surprised probably by the GT-85 because I'd heard good reports of that, but it certainly seemed to be the first to go. And when I had a look after the first couple of days of the salty storms, it was the GT-85 that seemed to be failing first. So. Those first three, if you're just going to um, wipe the bike down with those and expect to go through the whole winter without any corrosion, I'd say probably think again and either reapply or uh, use one of the other products in the test. So um, I'll have a look and see how they're doing in a week's time. If there's no movement, I probably won't post a video. If there is some change or progression, I will. Otherwise, we'll be a few weeks time. We'll see how they're all getting on. Thanks for dipping past this afternoon and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.